Okay, Uncle Cal Army. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, EDC knives, pocket knives, uh, and CP. Now I have um, four different examples here of opening methods. Um, so uh, let's go into it. I tend to carry my knives due to who I'm going to be dealing with, the area, uh, that, where I'm going, um, and a couple other factors if, if need be, depending upon everything. Um, so let's let's start with uh, a. I think the most common, or uh, what 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 was one of the first ways, anyway, to my knowledge, is the nail neck. Now this is the Buck 110 uh, with the pocket clip by Night Eyes put on there by uh, myself. Um, so, um, na nail nicks, I tend to just grip with my finger and thumb, and boom, it's open. I don't try to uh, do it that way, it's just, it doesn't work, and, um, and that way's, that, that way's safer. Okay. Need to oil that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the thumb thumb neck opening method by Uncle Kyle. I think a lot of people open it that way and um, there's that. Now thumb studs. I know a lot of people just take their thumb and uh, do it that way. Um, so thumb studs. Okay. I, I do it the same way. I have to take it by the thumb studs like this and open it that way. It's, it's just safer, okay, for me. And depending upon the back lock, uh, it's easy, easy to close. There you go. So there's that. Now, my, pre my preferred, and there's another one after this, but we'll, we'll talk about it. My, my preferred is the hole. Okay, this is the spider coat tenacious. I've had this for a while. Um, I just you know the same thing, but it's a lot easier for, easier for me to grip, and I can just cut what I need to cut and, and go on with life. So I I really do prefer the hole. Okay. But then, they're flippers, okay? Of course. This I'm just using for an example. This is that uh, Joker Knight, Knight replica. I don't carry this for obvious reasons. Uh, but, uh, depending upon the flipper, um, uh, it, it 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 is easy to open, and uh, depending well, depending upon the flipper, I carry it. I don't carry this one. So to to explain further, uh, the nail nick is doable if done right. Thumb studs are doable, but depending upon everything, I don't always carry them. I prefer the thumb hole, uh, and sometimes, what well, well, the flipper is good, but uh, depending upon where I'm going, who I'm dealing with, I'll take a flipper because that type of action t tends to freak people out, as people know. And uh, it's just the fact that you're somewhat one in a wheelchair with a disability, and you you carry a knife freaks people out anyway. So I tend to um, err on the side of caution and either go with a a thumb stud and just open it that way if I need to, or the thumb hole, which is really my preferred uh, method. Okay.
that's doable with my type of CP. Um, I hope that um, it enlightens people. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. More stuff to come this weekend, guys. I promise. I'm, I'm sorry. It's been been uh, a little bit since the last video. I was trying to come up with ideas and uh, dealing with mom's issues um, and etc. and things to deal with um, for future needs and whatnot. So stay tuned. Find out what happened to Uncle Cal. And um, like I would say, be safe and don't do anything I, I wouldn't do.